and girls, I'm Miss Bev, and I am so happy that I get to teach you about God today. We'll be talking about prayer. Jesus knew the importance of prayer, and he prayed often to his Father in heaven for his people. We'll learn more about that in our story today, but let's start our day with a prayer, okay? God is listening. God is listening to every word I say. He will hear me. He will hear me every time I pray. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for the boys and girls that have tuned in to listen today about your word. Thank you for prayer and that we can talk to you at any time. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, boys and girls, who knows what this is? That's right. It's the Bible. It's God's true word. The Bible is God's word. Let's open it and see how it tells us of his love, how he loves you, and he loves me. Do you know that everything in this book is true? And it helps us to find ways to live and to love God better. And prayer is one of those ways. How many of you pray before you eat a meal? Or maybe you pray when you're sad, or you pray when you're happy. Those are all good times to pray. People can pray anytime and anywhere because prayer is just talking to God. And do you know that God is accessible? Wait a minute. That's a really big word, isn't it? Accessible. Do you know what that means? It only means that God is always listening when his people pray. Well, do you know what? Jesus prayed to his father often, and he prayed before he did important work. Well, he prayed for his disciples because they were going to do his work when he went to heaven to be with his father. There were 12 of them. Let me show you this board. The disciples might have looked a little bit like this. Here's Jesus, and he had 12 men that he taught Lots and lots of things because they were going to be behind when he went to heaven. Jesus prayed to his father for his disciples often. Jesus said that he had come to earth to give eternal life. And we can read that in John 17, 3. And it says, Now this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. That's our Bible verse, and it's from John 17, 3. Jesus prayed for all the people that would know him later. So that means that Jesus prayed for you. He prayed for me. He prayed for your mommy, your daddy, brothers and sisters, your friends. He prayed for everyone else that you know. Jesus prays for all his people. He prayed that we would all know him and love him so we could be in heaven with him. Well, boys and girls, you listened so well today, and I have a couple of questions that I want to ask you to see what you remember about our story. Who is always listening when his people pray? That's right. God does. That's right. Who prays for his people? Look down here. Jesus does. All right, I have one more, and it's a little bit harder. Who were the 12 men that Jesus prayed for that would do his work when he went to heaven to be with his father? Do you remember who these guys are? His disciples. That's right. Well, do you know that before Jesus called his disciples, Jesus came to earth as a baby, and he grew up to be a man, and I have an activity that, will, that has some motions, and it will hopefully help you remember how Jesus came to earth as a baby to save us. It's called Born a Baby. You ready? Let's get our babies out. Born a baby, born a baby. Dear Lord Jesus, born a baby. Growing up, growing up. Dear Lord Jesus, growing up. On the cross, on the cross. Dear Lord Jesus, on the cross. In the tomb, in the tomb. Dear Lord Jesus is in the tomb, alive again, alive again. Dear Lord Jesus, alive again. He's up in heaven, up in heaven. Dear Lord Jesus is up in heaven. 
He's coming back. He's coming back. Dear Lord Jesus is coming back. He's in our hearts. He's in our hearts. Dear Lord Jesus is in our hearts. Well, boys and girls, during our lesson, I told you that our scripture verse was from John 17, 3, and it says, Now this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you sent. Well, let's sing it together to the tune of the wheels of the bus, okay? And let's, um, let's snap maybe while we do it, okay? Can you do that? If you can't snap, you can clap or anything that you can do, and that'll be fine, okay? Let's go. Now, this is eternal life that they know you, the only true God and Jesus Christ whom you sent, John 17, 3. Very good, boys and girls. Wow, that was so good. Well, you know what? Jesus prays for his people, and we have a song that is called, What is Prayer? And let's sing that together, and let's clap this time. How does that sound? All righty? Let's do that. What is prayer? Oh, what is prayer? Prayer is talking with God. What is prayer? Oh, what is prayer? Prayer is talking with God. Boys and girls, that is great. God is accessible and he's always listening when his people pray. Let's keep praising him and sing what is prayer one more time, okay? And if you've got something around, I found these eggs and I'm just gonna shake them as we sing. If you have anything, or you can clap or snap again, whatever you wanna do. All right, you ready? What is prayer? Oh, what is prayer? Prayer is talking with God. What is prayer? Oh, what is prayer? Prayer is talking with God. Very good, boys and girls. Well, thank you so much for listening so well to our story and for joining in with the songs as we sang. I love sharing God's word with you. Don't forget that God is always listening when his people pray and that Jesus prays for his people. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.